During early instruction in the gas mask drill, the instructor causes his class to drill by the numbers until proficiency is attained. Numbers are used only for drill purposes. This instruction is normally given at ease. Later, when the soldier is in the field, he will be able to put on his gas mask smoothly and rapidly, whenever required. At the command gas, the soldier puts on his mask without any loss of time. Whenever the soldier hears a gas alarm, the mask is put on without waiting for an order. The same is true any time the soldier in the field detects gas. To show more clearly how the mask is put on, the adjustment of the mask will be shown in different stages by an individual soldier. To sling the carrier, it is held in the left hand, near the shoulder strap eye clasp. The carrier is held waist high in front of the body with the side containing the snap fasteners next to the body. The shoulder strap is straightened and held extended by the right hand. The right arm is swung to the left with the shoulder strap passing around the left elbow. The shoulder strap is brought over the right shoulder, bringing the gas mask under the left armpit. The hook clasp is engaged. The body straps are then hooked together. In normal drill, the masks are slung at the command, sling, masks. When the pack is to be worn with the gas mask, the left front suspender strap of the pack is unhooked from the cartridge belt beforehand. The pack is slung over the mask. The loose suspender strap is passed under the carrier shoulder strap and again engaged in the cartridge belt. The full pack is slung over the carrier in the same way. Whenever it is indicated that the gas mask is to be used, for instance at the command gas, the soldier must first hold his breath to avoid breathing any gas before getting the mask adjusted. The soldier must be prepared to have both hands free in order to put on the mask. If the soldier is carrying a rifle, it is placed between the legs to keep it from touching the ground. The question may now be asked, suppose the soldier is carrying a burden such as one of the parts of a mortar. What does he do? The part is immediately set down. However, the equipment should be kept off the ground whenever possible. Next, the headpiece is removed. The helmet is taken off with the right hand at the same time that the carrier flap is opened with the left. The chin strap is slipped over the left arm. In case the soldier is wearing a soft cap or a cloth cap without a chin strap, he tucks his headpiece under his waist belt or under the cartridge belt or between the carrier and his body. In taking the mask from the carrier, the face piece is held with the right hand just above the angle tube. 
Be careful not to touch the eyepieces with the fingers or the glass will be smudged. Take the face piece out of the carrier and flip out the head harness straps. Bring the mask in front of the face, grasping the face piece with both hands. The thumbs are inside and under the lower head harness straps. The fingers are extended outside the face piece. The outer edges of the palms are together to form a pocket for the chin of the face piece. The chin is well forward. The soldier is now ready to put on the mask. He places his chin firmly in the pocket formed in the mask and sweeps the head harness smoothly over his head, keeping the elastic webbing straps from twisting. The head pad is centered well down on the back of the head. The question may now be asked, suppose the soldier is driving a vehicle, what does he do? If alone, the driver stops the vehicle before putting on the mask. Normally, there are two soldiers in a vehicle when in or near areas subject to gas attack. The soldiers take turns wearing their masks, each wearing his for about one half hour at a time. In case of a gas attack, the man wearing the mask takes the wheel immediately, while the other man puts on his mask. It is now necessary to remove any gas that may be in the face piece of the mask. To clear the mask, close the outlet valve by holding it between the thumb and fingers of the right hand. Then exhale vigorously. The edges of the mask must now be seated firmly to the face. This is done by placing the palms of both hands on the chin, pressing out all irregularities and channels by an upward and backward motion of the palms and smoothing out the head harness. The gas mask should now be properly adjusted, but it is necessary to check immediately for leaks. To check mask, pinch together the walls of the hose as near to the canister as possible. Then inhale. If the mask is properly adjusted, the face piece should collapse. Normal breathing can now be resumed safely. Replace the helmet, fasten the chin strap, Resnap the carrier flap. Here is another soldier. He has been given a mask which fails to collapse when he checks mask. This indicates a leak. In this case, it is likely that the mask has been incorrectly adjusted. The soldier may correct the adjustment, reseat the face piece, and overcome the fault. If the mask still leaks, which will rarely happen, the defect must be located by minute visual inspection. Sometimes outlet valve ports stick and cause exhaled air to pass out between the face piece and the face. Do not become alarmed. By gently massaging the valve with the thumb and fingers, the ports will open. The gas mask drill is executed without pause at the command gas.
The gas mask is removed only on authorized command. Before removing his mask, each man must test for the presence of gas. When a soldier is alone, he may remove his mask after he has determined that no gas is present. test for gas, take a moderately full breath. Exhale a portion and stop breathing. Stoop down to bring the face as close to the ground as possible. Do not allow any part of the person or equipment to touch the ground. Insert two fingers of either hand between the face and the face piece near the cheek, making a slight opening. Sniff gently, but do not inhale. Stand up. If gas is present, Clear the mask by closing the outlet valve with the thumb and fingers of the right hand and exhaling. Reseat the face piece and resume normal breathing. When driving a truck, if the soldier desires to test for gas, he must stop the truck, get out, and test before removing the mask. Before removing the gas mask, the weapons, equipment, or burdens are disposed of in the same manner as when putting the mask on. Unfasten the chin strap, hold the helmet with the left hand, and with the right hand, grasp the mask at the angle tube. Pull the mask away from the chin. Lift, sliding the head harness up over the head. Hang the face piece over the left forearm. Replace the head piece, and fasten the chin strap. Before replacing the mask in the carrier, hold the face piece in the right hand, chest high. The angle tube is grasped by the fingers and the thumbs. The edges of the face piece are to the left. Open the carrier flap with the left hand. Pull the slack of the hose out of the carrier. Fold the head harness inside the face piece with the left hand. With the right hand, bring the face piece toward the carrier. With the left hand, loop the hose over the outlet valve guard. Place the loop inside the face piece. Hold it in this position with the thumb and the fingers of the right hand just below the eyepiece. The hose should not be kinked or stretched over the outlet valve guard. Hold the carrier flap open with the left hand. Insert the face piece the loop of the hose first by rotating the right wrist outward. Then rotate the wrist inward to bring the hose and face piece into proper position in the carrier. Feel with both hands to make sure the hose and the mask are fitted into the carrier with no distortion or kinks. Refasten the carrier. When properly placed in the carrier, the hose should be coiled in a smooth, continuous loop around the bottom of the carrier and through the face piece. Make sure that there are no kinks or twists and that the outlet valve guard does not touch the hose. To remove and replace the mask at normal speed, the command is remove and replace mask.
The soldier returning to the barracks unfastens the left suspender strap and unslings the pack. To unsling the mask, he unfastens the body and shoulder straps. Some damage to the rubber parts may be avoided if the position of the face piece and the hose in the carrier is always checked before laying the mask aside. <laughs>